Hi everyone, it's Tanya Gibbs and today I want to share with you a process video of a masculine layout featuring products from Marion Smith Designs. And these are the photos that I'll be scrapping today along with uh, these beautiful papers. They're from the Motley Collection, Never Grow Up Collection, Nirvana, and Garment District. I'm just going to take pieces and parts from all of these scraps and then I've pulled out some uh, full sheets that I would like to use as well. There's some really cute cut apart pieces here. So I'm going to start out by fussy cutting out some of the items that I think I might use today. Some of these will ultimately not be used, but that's okay. I'll have them fussy cut for future projects. I have a drawer that I keep all of my Marianne Smith designs uh, scraps in and that makes it easy to pull them together for future use. Now this is a piece of the Nirvana paper and there's a little piece on this back side that says report card so I wanted to use it and then these are from the Never Grow Up collection so I'm going to take and pick out the ones that look like a school day so we've got A for apple for teacher, S for scissors and I think I pulled M for milk. So we're going to use those today too and then I love this alpha set that's on the Motley collection so I cut that out as well. And then I also have these tickets. I think this one's in the Motley collection. If not, it's in the Never Grow Up collection. Um, so I'm going to use it to mount my photograph because there's so many, much pink in the photograph. I thought that the kind of uh, purpley pink from the tickets would be good. And since this is a masculine layout, I don't want to overpower it with pink, but he is wearing a pink shirt, so it works. Uh, and then, you know, I, I can't see very much of it, but it offers a nice border for my photographs. And that's him with this teacher there on the right. I've pulled out a scrap of dictionary page because you know, first grade's all about definitions and things like that. So I've um, used it to layer uh, on the back of this piece of scrap. And now these were actually pieces where I had used my brand new square cinch. And uh, they were scraps, so they make a really cute border on the side of your paper. I know there are several punches that leave this look, but if you have a cinch or a bind at all, it also will do it. So there's no need to have that extra punch laying around. So I have those pictures I'm trying to find placement for now. And what I'm trying to do is build out my, my uh, photo cluster before I pull out my layout paper. Um, I find that this helps me to not use up all of the space on the paper. So these are those alpha pieces and I decided to trim it down just a little bit and I'm going to tuck the top piece that I cut off. I'm laying it across the top up at the top. It's, uh, it's like it's the branding strip for the book that these came from. So it was really cool. And I'm trying to stick to the principle of what I do to one side, I try to do to the other. So you'll see me cutting and fussing and tucking. Now this is that report card and I'm going to, anything that I'm going to tuck under that is going to get lost, I'm trimming down so I can use on the other side of the layout. So you'll see. And then I decided it was just getting too clean. I needed to tear something. So <laughs> I tore off the bottom of that one. And I don't know why I did it because there's really only two elements here that I ended up tearing. But anyway, so just trying to find placement for that one piece. And I'm going to put it off to the side over there. Now I'm going to bring it into my paper and see how it looks and decided that I was I was debating on that paper or this one and I decided that this one just does much better. My photos pop more. There's uh, because the papers I'm using for my photo mat are quite busy. That busy paper just kind of took away from everything. So this helps to tone it down just a little bit by using this neutral paper. So I decided I did not want those photos to be crooked after all, so I straightened them back up. And now I'm just trying to find placement. I'm going to apply a little bit of glue so I can hold it in place. And then I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine where I'm going to stitch it together for you guys. 
um, I just wanted some the look of stitching on this on this layout I haven't done that in quite a while and since this layout is going to stay predominantly flat that's what I wanted to do with it now this is a self inking uh, stamp from plus that I'm just going to roll across. It's not going to roll perfect because there's uneven edges, but that's okay. I'm going to cover it up eventually with some uh, with a tag here, uh, and that tag just ended up being a way too I don't know something. I don't know. I, I I ended up twisting that tag around in the end, and I found another piece of that border punch, and I'm going to end up putting it off to the left over there by the apple flashcard just to balance off what that other piece looked like up at the top and now I'm going to take some washi tape in my stash and uh, add that to the layout as well this washi tape tape came from Marion Smith I'm not sure where the ruler one came from I think that's a Tim Holtz one uh, tissue tape but what it's doing is is where I put the black down for the film strip the black washi tape is now balancing that black out and giving other areas on the layout with that black so once I have all my washi tape in place I'm gonna go looking for my tie so I used a, a Tim Holtz alpha set and I cut out the word grade and now I'm going to take these small letters from seven gypsies and put out the word first uh, I like to mix and match my titles I like how it looks whenever there's two different fonts and I also like how it looks whenever the dominant word is big and then this and then other words in the title are different size or a script or something like that so um, these letters are very very thin and tiny so I'm using my tweezers from Cutterby to apply the letters for this title and then I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it down so that the letters stay in place now I'm taking a Faber Castell design memory craft uh, pen this is uh, the extra small and I'm going to outline around these photos this pen is uh, with made with India ink so it writes really well on these photographs it doesn't skip uh, and it's very thin line I think this black border around these photos is really going to help to draw attention to my photo and this busy uh, patterns that are that are framing it and it helps to kind of make pull your eye back down to where the photos are it also helps to reinforce some of those black lines that we're seeing through the other pieces now I decided to pull up that washi tape because um, I wanted to make sure my lines went under it because you could see through the washi tape and I ended up ripping the washi tape off and replacing it with brand new because I had ripped it when I tried to pull it up I had someone ask me the other day if I know which direction I'm headed in when I create these layouts and the truth is no I just start piecing things together until it works so you see me pulling things up and turning them and rotating them quite a bit like that tag was pointing downward and then when I cut my title I was like wait a minute I gotta flip it around so I pulled it up and twisted it and that pretty much is how it works for me in my brain now I'm taking my Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Artist, a big brush artist pen in the black, and I'm covering this Studio Calico speech bubble that says my favorite, and I'm going to place it over that second tag there. I decided you couldn't really see my favorite, so I've pulled out some of this Glitz uh, washi tape that is in gold, and I am trimming it down to fit across the back of this speech bubble and that's just going to help because the the background from the Nirvana paper was just too busy and you couldn't read what was on it I'm just going to put that down with a little bit of hot glue on top of that glitter tape and now I'm going to write teacher and then the teacher's name onto this tag and then I'm going to fill it, finish it out with there's an arrow that I have here from Studio Calico that's wood veneer and I'm going to glue that down and then I'm going to add a little bit of, of gold glitter nail polish 
to the top. That's going to keep the arrow a neutral color, but it's going to add the sparkle and reinforce the sparkle that is under the My Favorite. And then I'm taking a Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft uh, calligraphy pen, and I'm adding uh, my little man Cooper's name. I wasn't sure of the date exactly. I knew it was in May and it was 2014. So I'm going to use my pit pen and I'm going to color in the 2014 and then I stamped it down on the edge and then I'm going to roll it around to the back so that a piece that hasn't been colored is exposed and then I'm going to color in the May and then stamp it right next to it. Uh, that, that way I don't make a mess of my stamps. Now I've decided that I had way too much of this tan color in the background so I'm just going to roughly trim out around the edges. It didn't have to be completely straight. I could have used a paper trimmer because um, but instead I used scissors because I'm going to grab my Prima distress tool and I'm just going to distress up those edges. So it just roughs it up a bit, makes it a little more grunge, a little more masculine, uh, and it just kind of helps to elevate this section up just a bit whenever I lay it on my backing paper. So um, it is a boy layout, so I did want it to be a little bit more masculine there. So now I'm taking this um, glitz tape again, and I'm going to place it down at the bottom of my tag, and the Studio Calico speech bubble that says plus A, so A plus, um, I'm going to add that to the top of that glitter paper. And then I've die cut these stars from some Cosmo Cricut glitter paper. This was a piece of scrap that I had left over. And I'm going to add a lot of hot glue, like a big mound of hot glue there on my palette and let it dry for just a second and then I'm going to add my stars to it. So this die cut for the stars was from Diversions and it cuts out several styles of stars at one time. And I love uh, cutting it with the glitter paper. Now I'm coming back with that glitter nail polish and I'm going to cover over the top of that A plus and add a little bit more to that arrow. Um, this whole corner just really sparkles, but I like that it's gold because it gives like a nice tone on tone to the layout. And now I'm going to apply those stars to the other side of the layout as well. Um, some on the report card and um, you know, I just, I love to repeat patterns. I'm a symmetrical person. If I do it to one side, I like to do it to the other side, but I'm also following the rule of thirds by only including odd number stars with, um, you know, or in my embellishment clusters, I've got groups of three. So, um, getting that star down in place and now I'm evaluating what more do I need? And I grabbed out some black soot distress ink in the, uh, Reinker, and I'm just going to tap some of that ink onto the layout like ink splatters that you would find um, on a child's paper. I can't tell you how many papers I turned in with ink blobs on them. <laughs> so um, it wasn't right coming out of that dauber just like I wanted it to, so I used the tip of it to splatter them around a little more. And then I'm going to heat set that once it's dry completely. I'm going to add some score tape to the back of this section. And then I'm going to adhere it to this other paper from Never Grow Up. Um, and that's just really going to help it to pop out off the page a little bit. So this concludes my layout for today. I'm going to add a little bit of twine here on this little tag off to the side here. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will put a link to the blog post down below that has a list of all the supplies that we used uh, if you are interested and here are some close-up photos of the layout so you can get a better feel for it uh, thank you so much for watching and if you like what you saw today please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share this uh, layout with a friend or this post with a friend so thank you very much have a great weekend.